Got an older top load whirlpool washing machine for you today. And uh, this one, on cold, there's not a lot of water coming through. Uh, it'll work on warm, it'll work on hot, um, but it won't work on cold. So we're gonna make sure these water valves are turned all the way on. Um, water won't be coming through unless the water's on, so we gotta make sure the water's good. Uh, this is the water in the shop, and I know the water's good. Uh, but you'll see it works on warm, it works on hot, but it will not work properly on cold. Um, the problem here is the water valve. Um, there's some other things uh, I'll tell you to check later, but first we got to get to this water valve. Uh, you want to take the control panel off. There's two Phillips head screwdrivers in both rear corners. Uh, you get those out, and the control panel will come forward and then you can flip it back um, yes you do want to disconnect power before you do any of this because if you don't know what you're doing you could hurt yourself um, but we got that control panel flipped and you got these two clips here you also want to disconnect that uh, lid switch connector that I did first uh, but once you get those off you just tilt the cabinet forward and she'll slide right out for you. Um, I'll have a good look for you guys whenever I put this thing back on. Um, but once you get that off, you got the water valve right there. Uh, the red connection is the hot and the clear connection is your cold. <clears throat> I'm uh, taking this water valve off right now um, to go ahead and replace it. You want to turn water off before you start disconnecting these water hoses and stuff. Uh, but while I'm doing this, if you want to check to make sure that this water valve is getting power, um, you'll check on that clear connection. You'll put your red lead on one side and then your black lead on the other to make sure you get 120 there. If you're getting 120 there and you're still not getting water through and you got water, then it is your water valve. But uh, here is your old water valve compared to the new one and there's a bunch of a gunk in that cold water side there but uh, we got a new water valve we're putting her in but that that's pretty much it I mean if it's not getting cold water um, that's it you just need power and you need water if you got both of those should be working if it's not go ahead and replace that water valve um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this um, I may bring up some tips for you whenever I'm putting this panel back on but that's pretty much it oh yeah I will have a link to that water valve down in the description below if y'all need one so uh, yeah go ahead and grab one if you do oh as you can see we got that new water valve in and this thing's working uh, now we verified it's working so we're gonna put this thing back together um, you want to tilt this thing forward when you put it back on. Can you see that bottom lip? You want to get it under that black piece there, the black frame, and then you just set her down. Uh, you want to make sure that control's out of the way, which I failed to do, so I'm going to get that out of the way now, and she'll slide right back into place. There are some holes that you want to set that thing down into on each side so it fits nice and snug. Uh, but once you get those things on there properly, you'll know. Um, then you put those clips back on, and that's pretty much it. Well, and then you got the two screws to hold the control panel back on. But after that, I mean, yeah, that's it. She's ready for operation again. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this or have any questions, anything, comment below. Like, subscribe, and I appreciate y'all watching. I'm just going to let y'all finish this out.